Now, your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. Well, around here, we're getting a break from the stormy weather. We're getting a break from the rainy weather we had last night and this morning. Beautiful skies overhead right now. That's a live look from the Sheraton in Jeffersonville. Looking back off to the west down the Ohio River. That's the Clark Memorial Bridge there in the foreground. And just a beautiful late Thursday afternoon. 83 at last check. The humidity 57%. The dew point eh, still on the sticky side, but it could be a lot worse, as you know. A northwesterly breeze in here at 10 miles an hour. We're talking upper 70s, low 80s, all across the WLKY viewing area. These numbers well below average for the time of year. Now, tomorrow, yes, we will get back closer to where it should be with upper 80s, possibly near 90 in a few spots. But boy, look at the quiet skies returning to all of the two-state region, all of the Ohio Valley, the Tennessee Valley, after the showers of last night, the thunderstorms, some of the storms, especially in the Tennessee Valley in the Deep South, kind of strong last night. That wet weather maker is now up and down the eastern seaboard and pulling out into the Atlantic Ocean. Couple of fronts we're watching, one south, one off to the north. By the way, the one off to the north could bring us a couple of more scattered storms in here very late tomorrow night in the Saturday morning, but until that time, we're looking just fine. Matter of fact, this evening looks great with uh, skies going clear, hovering around 80 while the sun is still above the horizon. Once it sets, we'll see plenty of stars and those temperatures settling back into the mid and upper 70s. When you wake up in the morning, a couple of high clouds passing through. It's a dry start to your Friday. Anywhere from 65 to 70 will be those low temperatures, about 70 in town. But again, the weather pattern for tomorrow looks just fine. A mix of clouds and sunshine. Those clouds may tend to thicken up a little bit, especially midday into the afternoon. But generally speaking, dry skies on the way and temperatures a bit warmer back into the middle and upper 80s, maybe a stray 90 peppered in like at the airport. Then as we look further out into uh, late Friday night, Saturday morning, as a very weak front starts getting a little closer, could trigger a few widely scattered showers and storms. I think the best chance is Saturday morning. So something to keep in mind if you have those outdoor plans on Saturday. Here's our forecast. Clearing a bit muggy still, 80s back into the 70s. Your detailed 12-hour forecast for tomorrow. We start at 70, we'll climb to the low 80s by midday, a few clouds in the afternoon, high temperatures upper 80s to near 90. And there's your seven day, we're close to 90 again Saturday. Jennifer, a chance for some widely scattered showers and storms Saturday. It looks to me best chances will come the first part of the day. Sunday looks basically dry, 92. And then yet another rain chance with some storms mixing in mm -hmm. Monday with a cold front that'll really knock back the temperatures yeah. by Tuesday of next week. Yeah, that's gonna feel like a, almost chilly probably to some of us <laughs> who really, 